Hello, boys and girls. Happy Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week and are ready for another fun week of learning next week. I've got some new activities planned for you, um, some new things on Seesaw. Riley and I have some new videos planned for you, so I hope you're ready, and I hope you're ready to have a fun weekend, too. I wanted to share with you um, another story, and I can't remember if I read this one or in class or not, but I like it. It's kind of funny. It's kind of silly. And Riley, don't be scared. Don't be scared. But this book is called, This Book Just Ate My Dog. <gasps> I hope that this book doesn't eat my dog. I need Riley. But that's what this book is called, okay? So I'll make sure to protect you so the book doesn't eat you too. Okay? So this story is called, This Book Just Ate My Dog. And it was written by Richard Byrne. Okay? So Riley, you make sure you pay attention so you don't get eaten too. All right. Bella was taking her dog for a stroll across the page when... They're just going for a walk. Riley, do you like to go for walks? Yeah, we'll go for a walk later, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> Something very odd happened. Can you see what happened? Look at that, the dog is only half there. He's missing. And then, Bella's dog disappeared. Yeah, I think Riley got scared. She's going to hide. Hello, Bella. What's up? Said Ben. This book just ate my dog. Mm, this is a mystery. Ben decided to go investigate. Uh-oh. Look at now what's happening to Ben. But then, Ben disappeared too. Uh-oh. This book is eating everybody. And suddenly, help zoomed in. Can you think about what's going to happen? The help says dog rescue. <clears throat> and then, it vanished. Look at everything keeps disappearing into this little space right there. It must be like a magic portal. <clears throat> Things were starting to get ridiculous. I'll just have to sort this out myself, thought Bella. Look at everything starting to get eaten by the book. But... Hmm. Sometime later, a note appeared, and it said, Dear reader, it would be lovely if you could kindly help us. Please turn this book on the side and shake. Love, Bella. And then she shows instructions. Turn the book around and shake. So I'm going to need your help too. Bella says we have to turn the book and shake. So can you help me shake? If you're in your bed, stay sitting in your bed, but just help me shake. Do you think that was good or do we need to shake it a little bit more? Probably a little bit more, right? All right, let's see if that worked. Oh, not yet. It says we're not done yet. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, look at, look what's coming out. Ooh, Bella says, and one more little wiggle. And then everybody reappeared. Look at, they're coming right back out of the book. And then... Things got back to normal. Well, almost. 
Can you see what's not normal in this picture? You gotta look really closely. Do you see what's kind of silly? Look at the dog. His front end is normal, but his back end is turned upside down. And these words are upside down too. That's kind of silly, huh? The last page says, Dear Reader, Please tell this book to promise not to be so naughty next time you read it. Thanks. Love, Bella. She wrote us a special note. This special note in the back page reminds me of all of the special notes that I've been getting from you guys. I absolutely love getting the mail back from you guys with all of your special pictures that you've been making. It makes my heart feel so full to see all of the work that you're doing and that you want to send it to me. So... Thank you to all of you who have already sent me little pictures. I love them and I have them hanging on my wall right now at my house. So I hope you enjoyed this story and even more, I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will see you soon.